What's up, you guys? It's Josh, Harry Tornado, Reagan, coming at you. Identity <laughs> theft is not a joke, Reagan. <laughs> Millions of families suffer every year. What's going on, you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today we are doing episode two of Thrifting Somewhere Else. Woo! But today I'm with friends. Reagan, where'd you go? We are in Simpson. We are. Where is this Fountain Inn? Inn. We're currently in Fountain Inn, South Carolina, in the. Greenville, Simpsonville area of South Carolina. We're gonna hit a couple of thrift stores and see what we can find. So let's just go ahead and uh, jump into it. If you guys go back and watch the very first video I ever posted on my YouTube channel, I think it's called like my first vlog. Uh, my friends Reagan and Wesley were in that video. Wesley is not a huge fan of thrifting, so he stayed back home today and watched the kids. So me and Reagan and the mother friend Christy are gonna hit some thrift stores in the upstate of South Carolina today. I think we're gonna have some pretty good luck today and I'm very excited about it, so stay tuned. All right, so we are at the very first Goodwill today. This is a the Goodwill Clearance Center in Greenville. The Green, Greenville, Greenville. And uh, I've never been here. I've never been to any other Goodwill bins other than the one in Columbia. So I'm excited. This one was a really far drive. It was like 20 minutes away from uh, Reagan's house. But uh, but I'm excited. So let's get in here and see what we can find. Oh, thank you, you, thank you, Christy. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's literally like 15 people eyes. in here. What'd you say? I said it didn't take my eyes. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, okay, perfect. This looks like uh, the Belschnickel <laughs> from the office. I thought you were staying home with the kids. Yeah, he told me I was coming, so. Oh, okay. Oh, he's awake now, So I found a bunch of these Ultra men's running shoes in this bin back here. They were all size 13, which is a pretty good size for men's running shoes. That blue pair was in really good condition. I picked up this red pair next. The, I mean, the bottoms were, weren't were worn at all. They had insoles, no heel rub. They were all just in really great condition to be sitting in an open bin like this. So I definitely grabbed all three of these. A little gyro bike helmet with a little GoPro mount on top. Got that. Oh, on this little Valentine's giraffe from Moe's. You can only get one. I'll get that. I just found this jersey. I don't know what it is. F F F. But it's like an Adidas size extra large. It's in really good condition, no pulls or anything. And there's also no name on the back. It's just blank. So I don't know, I'll probably get like 20 bucks for it or so. I'll grab it. So we are done at the bins. I spent $12.51 and oh I got like three pairs of shoes, bike helmet, jersey, bought some stuff for Reagan's, one of Reagan's kids. And uh, so now we're going to another Goodwill, right? And then lunch. Wesley, yeah. can can you do one more Goodwill? Okay. Wesley, calm down. My baby's in there. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff. I got this bag and this box in my arm of stuff I'm gonna donate to this next door, which is Miracle Hill. Where are we? Greenville. We're in Greenville. We're in Greenville, South Carolina, at the Miracle Hill thrift store. And there's Christy and Lincoln. Putting it at the ground. What's up? If I have donations, where can I take these? Okay. this bag as well thank you us? yeah for, for me and you Let's get it for me and no for me and you what? how much is it it's only 170 bucks it's only 170 bucks yes. no and for me and you does it come with the mattresses you know that a bunk bed would be perfect for their room that's not a bad price it's perfect for me and you make more room in our room oh my gosh yeah if you okay we can I cuddle by like i'll tape my hand up to the top here I also love that so. Wesley gets top, Reagan gets bottom, and y'all can hold hands along the side. Yeah. So that's how we'll cuddle. Yeah. PG rating everyone. I'm I'm all in. I got a truck. <sighs> Wesley, where's all the good stuff? Have you ever been here? Yes. On this Burton uh, backpack, it's just like a kid's backpack, but it's got these straps on the front, which is for um, it's either a snowboard or a skateboard or something. So I don't know how much this is, but. If it's, you know, two or three bucks, I'll go ahead and grab it. Looking through the men's shoe section, I did find this pair of Magnani men's dress shoes. I think that's how you pronounce it. They were in great condition other than a really bad scuff on the toe of this one, and the other shoe had a scuff on the toe as well. So it's $7, great brand of shoe. I went ahead and picked these up, and I think I can probably get about 75 to 80 bucks for them. 
So Miracle Hill was, it was okay. There wasn't a ton of stuff in there. I did get that one pair of men's Mag Magnani shoes. Magnani, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I actually just sold a pair of Magnani dress shoes today on eBay. Well, I got an offer of $80. I had them listed for 150. They offered me 80 and I counted it 100. So I think they should accept that offer. But uh, just the fact that I got the offer of 80 made me <laughs> know that that was a good brand. So I went ahead and picked those up. There's a little scuff on the both toes. So as long as I can get those scuffs off, it should be pretty good. Those were $7, I think. So seven into possibly 75 to 100 pretty easily. So good stuff. Now we're gonna go to lunch. Five to 10 times a week. What, oh ice cream? God. Ice cream, yeah. You get ice cream five to ten times a week? <laughs> That's like me and Chick-fil-A. Josh is going to hang out with us all day, and then Haley's going to come here after work. We're all going to have a bonfire. Oh, really? Wait, yeah. really? That sounds like a great idea, but oh, that's not what's going to happen. It's gonna, this is what's going to happen. Wanna... All right, so we are at our next Goodwill location. Uh, at least I am. I think Reagan and Wesley are on the way. Christy had to go back to work, so she is no longer with us. Uh, but Reagan and Wesley are. Sure. Wesley, they made me. They made me take my backpack off. So I just now I just have my camera. Yeah, my bro. I ain't gonna steal nothing. These are Reebok shoes, which are gigantic. These shoes were a size 15, which is not only gargantuan, but it's also kind of valuable since size 15s are kind of hard to find. These are Vibram Five Finger Men's Running Shoes. I've never seen these before, and I think they're worth like $30 to $40. These men's dress shoes were Clark's, which isn't a really great brand. They have a high retail value, but the resale on them is kind of low. But these were also a size 15, so I went ahead and picked those up. So that guy was pretty good. I got a um, bunch of shoes, I don't know, like four or five pairs of shoes and that Logitech webcam in there. The webcam was like 20 bucks, which was kind of expensive, but it's a, I think it's like the same one I have. So it should be worth like 40 to 50 bucks or so. Um, so you know, spending 20 bucks to double your money, I guess is a pretty good deal. Reagan, we have, where's the next stop? Goodwill. Goodwill, another Goodwill? Okay. I probably would have bought more from that Goodwill if they wouldn't have treated me like a criminal, making me take off my backpack. Jeez Louise, lady, I got a video to make here. All right, so we're at this next Goodwill in Simpsonville. We're in Simpsonville, right? Yes. Simpsonville, South Carolina. Simpsonville. And uh, I've been here before. It's been like a year, but I have been here before. So uh, it's a pretty big location. So hopefully they have some good stuff. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. No problem. Right when I walked in, I found this pair of women's ASICS running shoes in excellent condition. Went ahead and grabbed those. Right next to those was this pair of New Balance women's running shoes. Again, in excellent condition. $6.50. Went ahead and grabbed them. This next pair of shoes was a brand I'd never heard of before. Anu, I guess? A-H-N-U. I looked up some sold comps on these and looks like they're worth about $35. bucks. Ooh. And Fisto's right here. A little dirty, but this is a great brand to look out for. Foot door golf shoes are pretty common, but these were in really good condition and they were also a good size. I think these were men's 13. Walking by the clothing rack, I saw this vintage Miami Dolphins jersey peeping out at me. It's a Russell brand and it's made in USA, so it's definitely vintage. Really good find, $4.75. I found these Saucony running shoes. I'm not sure if these are men's or women's. I need to look at the style number, but either way, they're in great condition. Found these men's golf shoes. They do not have cleats on the bottom, but that is an easy fix. These were $6.50. Should be worth about $40. Found these men's comfort dress shoes. The brand was Propay. Turns out they're kind of like SAS, like comfort diabetic walking shoes. They're worth about $60. Found this pair of Nike shoes. They were in great shape. No wear on the bottoms at all. $6.50. Went ahead and grabbed them. That was a very good Goodwill stop. I got... 10 pairs of shoes and the Miami Dolphins vintage uh, football jersey, kids football jersey, and I paid like $66 for everything. It was a great deal, great deal. So Wesley, why are you in my truck? Let's go home. Get out of my truck. I miss you so much. Franken, bye. Right. See y'all. See ya. Bye, bye, bye. I'm going to hang out with Haley and like not go thrifting and just chill. Yeah. Y'all should come to Columbia soon. Yeah, Tonight? 
Bye guys. All right, so we're at a Goodwill in Lawrence, South Carolina. I have never been to Lawrence, South Carolina, uh, but maybe that means there's some hidden treasures in this Goodwill. We found this nice Nike windbreaker. It was $5.75. The size tag was cut out, but it still had the little white tag in the back. It was in really good condition, no rips, no tears, and it had a nice swoosh on the back. So went ahead and picked that up. I found this Dunianberg zebra print wallet for $2.92. I sent a picture of it to my friend on Instagram who authenticates designer goods, and she did confirm that this was authentic. This Presto electric knife sharpener was really interesting for $3.92. And right next to that, I found this box of vintage GE Christmas lights. Uh, each one should sell for about $30 to $35. Found this really nice pair of men's Under Armour running shoes in a nice army green colorway, minimal signs of wear, $6.50. Anytime I see cowboy hats, I like to check the tag to see what brand they are. And this was an Indiana Jones branded hat. It's in great condition. It was $4.75, which was a little steep, but sold comps on this are about 40 bucks. Then I walked up to the register to check out and I saw these two bottles of perfume sitting here. I scanned the barcode on eBay to see what they were selling for and sold comps on these perfumes were about $40 to $50. And they had two bottles of them for $2.92 each. So definitely grab those. All right, so now we are back in Columbia, South Carolina, in Irmo, South Carolina to be specific. And this is gonna be the last Goodwill stop of the day because I am tired. Thank you, man. What's up, Jeff? Hey, oh, what's up, man? How are you? Good. Good. Those are the ones I posted last night on Instagram. If you saw my picture. Oh, no, I didn't see them. Yeah, that's the... Yeah. Those are selling at 65 though. Yeah, I'm looking I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm starting to pass on the laces that are missing the little aglet too, because yeah. I, I like to undo them while I clean them and put them back, and you can't put them back when they're like that. It's a good shoe, man, if it wasn't torn up. And you can't see the size either. Shoot. You find anything good? Uh, a decent pair. I found these two uh, brand new backpacks that is like some kind of certification hmm. so there's a course that you take and get an exam and yeah apparently you get this as a consolation prize both of them say that yeah that's awesome I'm yeah, gonna risk found it some good three stuff bucks yeah. a piece. those are nice echo nice man nice sperry boots yeah. you don't wiped it out i live uh like a tenth of a mile from here so i'm in here mm -hmm. usually once or twice a day, seven days a week. Once or twice a day, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I went up to uh, Simpsonville today and did some thrifting up there. Hey, do you know how to clean the uh, rubber on these duck boots? Um, I think some people use like rubbing alcohol or something, I'm not sure. You take them. I've got like three pair of duck boots listed right now. Uh, sold comps are 35 to 45. Men size 10, they're my size, man. I might just keep them. I don't want to take the time to research and clean that yeah. rubber to make it look presentable again. All right, you want them. I'll take it. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. All right, you guys, so we are home. I went to like seven thrift stores today. I went to four with Reagan Wesley and Christy and then uh, three more on my way home. We found a ton of good stuff. I want to give you guys a full breakdown on, on everything I bought and how much money I'll make, uh, but I'm probably going to wait and do that in the morning. Right right now I'm home. My wife will be home in about an hour or so, so I'm going to cook dinner for her and, and you know, just spend some time with her tonight. Uh, I think it's important, like, if you are like, like for me, I'm incredibly blessed to be able to thrift and make videos. Literally my two favorite things in the entire world, I'm able to do those in conjunction and make a full-time living doing that. And I love it, but I don't want to like rub it in my wife's face. You know, like she tells me about her day at her regular job that is just a job, you know, and she's like, how was your day? I'm like, oh, well, I drove to Greenville today and I hung out with all of our friends and went to seven thrift stores and made a, a hundreds of dollars and made a video and everybody loves me. Blah, blah. She's just been incredibly supportive over the whole reselling and YouTube journey. And uh, I just want to, you know, show her that I can turn off my YouTube and eBay brain for a little bit and 
make her a nice dinner, show her that I appreciate her. I appreciate the fact that she's willing to work a regular job and allow me to do something that, that I love. We got some spaghetti going on tonight, garlic bread, some Caesar salad, my wife's favorite salad, and also picked up some flowers for her at the grocery store. Oh, just doing little things like making dinner or picking up some flowers or picking up you know, whatever you would pick up for your husband. I don't know, but uh, just doing little things to show that you appreciate them. You appreciate, uh, you know, them having faith in you to do something non-traditional as a full-time job. Uh, I just think it's really, really important. So I'm going to get to cooking and let's fast forward to tomorrow morning and I'll give you guys a full breakdown on everything we picked up today. I went to a total of seven thrift stores over the course of eight hours and I spent a total of $166 even. For that $166, I was able to purchase 33 unique items, which gives me an average item cost of $5.03. So as I said, I spent eight hours sourcing yesterday and I think a fair estimate for the amount of time it's gonna take me to get all 33 items processed, clean, you know, listed and shipped would probably be about five hours. So we're gonna have an all in time on this haul of 13 hours. The gross sales I'm expecting to get out of these 33 items is about $900. Personally, I operate at about a 50% profit margin in my reselling business. So this $900 in gross sales should amount to roughly $450 in actual profit it once you account for eBay fees, PayPal fees, your cost of goods and shipping. So when I take my estimated profit on this haul of $450 and divide it by 13, which is the total number of hours that I will have invested in this haul, that will give me an hourly income of $34. Something interesting that I wanna start accounting for is the fact that I can film these videos for you guys. Like I just took my GoPro with me yesterday, I filmed while I was sourcing. So the filming of the video is what takes the longest amount of time, but I'm not spending extra time doing that. Like I'm filming while I'm sourcing. So the 13 hours that we already have accounted for, let's add one more just for the editing because like it'll probably take me 45 minutes to an hour to actually edit the video so say we have an all-in time of 14 hours but most of the videos on my channel make between a hundred let's say hundred fifty dollars on average some make a lot more than that some make a lot less but I think on average once my video tops out around you know 10 12 15 thousand views somewhere on there it would make about hundred and fifty dollars or so so if we take that estimated income that this video will generate and add it into the $450, now we're looking at an estimated profit of $600 from 14 hours of work, which would give us a new hourly income of $42.85. So overall, yesterday was a great day. I was able to find a lot of cool stuff to sell and spend some time with friends, and it was just a win-win situation. I think one of the best finds from yesterday was this set of two, I mean, they're not a set, but two boxes of this uh, Yasatis yes, <laughs> perfume or whatever from uh, Givenchy. Both of these were $2.69 at Goodwill, which is an awesome deal. I'll throw some sold comps on the screen, but it looks like this perfume is selling for around $45 to $50 free shipping, and I think it's selling very frequently. Like, I, I think there was like five or six that have sold just in the last week. So, uh, I'm excited about this. It's new in the package, still sealed. I just got to get the Goodwill stickers off. Um, so, I spent just over $5 on these two, and they should profit me about $75 to $80 or so. Then the very best find from yesterday was this pair of boots. These are original Chippewa. I've never seen these boots in the wild, but I have seen a few resellers talk about them in some what sold videos and some you know brands to be on the lookout for. Uh, I'll throw sold comps for these boots on the screen as well. There's a lot of different styles, but Overall, this brand sells very, very well. This is a very high quality boot. It's very expensive retail. I paid $8.50 for these boots. And I, my favorite part about these, these boots was I found these in the very last Goodwill I went to, which is where I saw my friend James, who is another reseller. And he had, I think, three or four pairs of boots. He had those Sperry boots that he gave me. And I thought that the shoe section was just wiped out. You know, he had already been at that store twice that day and he knows what he's doing. He was picking up some really good brands. So I really didn't expect to find anything, but I went around to the, the side and I don't know if they put them out after he had looked at them or he just overlooked them. But uh, James, you missed out on some money makers here, man. These are super nice boots. So definitely the best find of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I appreciate your time tremendously. You're the best and I'll catch you guys on the next one.